Hey people, Intro here, 33, Catherine and Purification Plants, Blue Team. It's Curse Crab, with a Force Commander, very good offense, fights in melee combat, can also tank, disrupt, and support with buffs, you know the fella. Alongside, have you seen why Source Brero is a Chaos Sorcerer? This may be Z Talk, I'm not sure. Is Z Talk, by the way, the player who created this map, so good job, because it's proven pretty popular. If again, this is Z Talk. What was I doing? Sorcerer, right. Powerful battlefield manipulation and control. And, uh, you know, hurts you quite a lot too. Alongside, and rounded off this blue team is Gaius Baltar with a Chaos Lord. Durable and destructive hero, walks through objects and cannot be suppressed. Powerful offense and disruption fights in melee combat. The Thousand Suns elite scheme with the hoods and that. Some corn worship there. Red team, Alex, the Herald of Fools, is a commander knob. Infiltrating hero that shoots you, stabs you, and blows you up. Orky style begins in ranged combat with a twin link shooter just strapped full of bombs and mines and stuff. Alongside here is Sko as a hive tyrant, a very durable hero that walks through objects and cannot be suppressed. Powerful offense, disruption and support begins in melee combat with a basic synapse. I shall call you Javier. A rider of the teams is uh, Piluco with a Lord General fights in range. Combat begins with a retinue of stormtroopers, really strong defense and support can also add to this retinue grabs the Western contested VP. Meanwhile, Force Commander has gone up the flank, eats a stomp, scouts run away, tactical marine should be behind cover, a good Doom Bolt flies in by Source Brero, who again may or may not be Zetor. We're going to see another one in a second on this lump of Tyranids up here, there it is. Pretty nasty one, holy crap, everything runs away. I don't think these Hormogaunts are going to be too pleased with this either, are they going to get away? Oh, if those CSM were forcing melee combat, they might have finished them off there, I think they would have. But uh, Javier is pissed. Tactical Marine is still in play. Trying to force melee combat on some fleeing Tyranids. That stomp missed, I think. Was that another stomp? I feel like I heard one. The Force Corner now needs to flee. Can they kill him on retreat? What's here? It's just Javier. I don't know if he has the rotation speed to get this done. Might get one hit, but I don't think he's going to get two. Boom. Yeah, I don't think two would have been enough. The CSM get a decap. Under duress, let's say, and Sko has gone back to Gapping. Meanwhile, east side, Chaos Lord runs away. Lots of dead stuff. Here's some orcs, though. We've got Shooter Boys. We've got more Shooter Boys. And Sluggers in there, too. Upgrades. We've got big shooters all around. Double Termigants with Toxin Sacks on the way. The Sentinel. Did they not get a third unit up? Catachins are on the way now. Did they lose some Guardsmen? I don't think so. Just went straight for a tier 1.5, which is a lot more viable to do in a team game, of course, when you have much less of the map to worry about and you've got ally support and stuff. Medical Sergeant on the way for the Lord General to help keep those catagens alive. They can die fast to AoE stuff. We've got some assault, assault Marines for Curse Grab, Jump Troops that disrupt units. Nothing for the Force Commander yet. All the power went on those fellas. Lord General is capping. There we see the Medical Sergeant. Can hand out medi packs to allies, but not to the his own retinue of fellas. Heretics worshiping, they do have an aspiring champion, and there's the combi flamer for the Chaos Lord. Helps him peel off targets when he chases them around, because things tend to run from a Chaos Lord. These sluggers aren't though; they're going in, gonna get killed a week. They're trying to bait it out here. Didn't quite yet. Heretics have backed off a bit. CSM losing models though. These guys flanking them. That covers being negated. Chaos Lord. Must have missed, killed a week, and is now running away. And there's the crippling poison on the heretics. Source Brero, though, coming in to help out. Sword of Flame, Vestments of the Warp. They will slice through Orcs and Tyranids pretty quickly in Tier 1. Gets in on the Shooter Boys now, and Termigants are there too. Some suppression from Aiming. What's that? On-demand suppression, always useful. It does reduce your damage. Does it reduce it to nothing? I think it might reduce it to like almost nothing or maybe nothing. So if you want to kill stuff, just shoot them. Just the Dakos is good enough. We have grenade launchers up here for the Lord General. Giving him move, 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 which make things move faster because of course that's what a grenade launcher would do. Maybe he just threatens things that I'll shoot you with this if you don't hurry up. Good stop there by the Sentinel. Assault Squad can jump again though, they have a 55 energy jump because they're cheaters. Unlike poor Raptors that have a 60 energy jump, there we go. Disrupting the Lord General there. 
tying them up. Those grenade launchers can do some work for you. Because your stormtroopers get them as well. Force commander pushing on through. Might have overextended a little bit here. He's got no support. 417 to 500. Tier 2 for Sko, the first player. And Source Brero, who may or may not be Zetor, has also gone Tier 2. And speaking of Raptors, we got some. For Gaius Bolter. Now shooting up a power node, which has been tyrannided up with a generator. We've got some Storm Boys here. Everyone's getting the jump troops up, apart from Source Brero. What's going on? But they do have a teleporting sorcerer. Power melee these Storm Boys, so bad news for the CSM and the Raptors, actually. But they should be able to... I mean, in Tier 1, they should be able to tough it out, maybe. It's a dicey fight, though. Anything with heavy armor in Tier 1 fighting Storm Boys is a dicey fight for them. Sko pushing through with Javier and some Tyranid fellas. Hormagaunts with no adrenal glands yet, but we do have a zone throw on the way already. I mean, didn't spend much in Tier 1, eh? Just got the toxin sets up. Now has crushing claws on the way. The most damaging weapon in the game for a hero. 108 heavy melee DPS. That's more DPS than a Dreadnought. But they do not get the splash damage that a Dreadnought gets. So not quite terror as terrifying as a Dreadnought. But still pretty mental. Sorcerer teleporting around doing his thing. Sentinel seems lost. It's a bad place for a Sentinel. Kraken Bolt's kicking in on double tax. And that takes it down so fast. Kraken Bolts gives you extra damage to heavy infantry armor, which is what a Sentinel has. Wow, says Sorcerero. East side, things be fighting, and they be green, and they be winning. They win, but they didn't kill him. Uh-oh. Oh, they have a jump. They do get away. Maybe? What is Raptors doing? Fight back, fellas. There we go. Decent special, but they took a lot of hits. Unanswered. They're trying to kill the Storm Boys here. Oh, that's so close. Maybe there's... Maybe the pistols will do it. They're going for a jump. Don't think it's going to be enough. Just waited a bit too long to jump there. They had the energy to jump sooner, I think. 417 to 491. Storm Boys live. Affectionately called Bleed Boys. By some unscrupulous elite mod players. Because they tend to die a lot. Especially in Tier 1. But Tier 2 you get that very mean knob leader. And all of a sudden they're not so funny anymore. Zone Throat going to get a shot here. Boom. Only hit one model, I think. It's an artillery piece for the Eldar. For the Eldar. For the Tyranids. Doesn't do friendly fire. And uh, gives you a nice health regen aura too. Not quite the range or the damage as some of the other artillery in Tier 2. Plasma cannons and the like. But hey. Trade-offs and that. Balance and things. Force Commander goes down. None of these tactical enemies are happy and they all run away. All of a sudden, Javier is way scarier when the Force Commander's not around. Got his crushing claws. Look at him. Don't think he actually uses them to attack though, which is a bit disappointing. Still uses these big talons. But they're there. They're menacing. Leveling up is the sorcerer. Now has the icon of Zinch to uh, make things explode when they die, because that's useful. Ogrin's on the way. On the field, in fact. There they are. Heavy melee squad that can disrupt lines for you, but they can't deal with suppression by themselves. Luckily, they have a Lord General who can help them with that. With a piece of war gear. We'll see if we see it. Down goes Sorcerero. Uh oh, Javier's having a little snack. Did you level up, buddy? No. Come on now. Javier's still level one. I are disappointed. Scout squad with a sergeant. He can chuck a grenade. The other scouts have no idea how to throw grenades, how to throw things in general, I think. Very confused by grenades, so they have to, have to get a sergeant in who has arms that work. CSM level 2. Plague Marines on the way for Source Brero. Very slow tier 2 by this fella who may or may not be Z Talk. Don't know what these guys are doing. There's the smoke grenade by Catachins, which is a supportive grenade. Reduces incoming damage rather than mess up your enemies, which other smoke things can do, like spotters and stuff. Scouts have had a little look there under infiltration. Javier is ready to rip things apart. 1058 points, level 1 these days, of course. Used to have 1080. Used to be full HD. We have a teleporter back on the way for the Force Commander. Does have the Thunder Hammer up. Taking up so much damage, though. Was that a... What knocked him over there? Oh, that was a shotgun blast, I think. And down they go. Bad day over there for the Force Commander. 
Sorcero has repurchased their Sorcerer though. And a bad push by the blue team. They're not gonna they're not gonna get through. Look at this. Triple Plague Marines by Sorcero, despite there being no vehicles on the field. What is going on? And Plague Marines also for Guy Spalter. Did Alex have a war truck up briefly that I missed? I don't see the remains of one, but it can be the Chaos Lord would like break it if he just touched it. He's, he's a big fella. Big bones. Armor of the Inferno's in. Dele Galaxy Burn on double shooters is pretty popular these days among the kids. So is he going to do it? No. What's this? It's generators being bashed, and they did it pretty effectively. These guys are going to try and cap. Under smoke support. Well done, Peluco. And here is Triple Plague Marines. They have an anti-vehicle missile launcher that can snare vehicles. Also relatively tough. And they have these damage over time bolt guns. But uh, not something you typically see tripled up like this. Very odd. They just ate a grenade from Stormtroopers. A whole bunch of damage they soaked up there. Here's double tactical Marines for first grab. I don't think those fellas have thrown their grenade yet, so maybe they got... There he goes. It's a pretty good one. Almost wrapped up this Termigan. Surely they're going to be got... No, the tactical marines stopped shooting them. They started shooting the Ogrins instead, which is understandable. They were running at them. 3-2-1 to 447. Javier is almost level 3 now. Force Command is still down. Red team running rampant on this west side. Zone throat getting shots in, as you can see. Tier 3 for Sko. Tier 3 for Alex and Tier 3 almost for Piloco. And Sko is is as surprised as I am. Oh, he's a new player. I don't think he's new. I don't think he's a new player. I looked at his profile. He's got a bunch of previous names, one of which is Z-Talk. I think he'd be lying. There's four Plague Marines now. There's four of them. 298 to 447. Ogrins with the user red, which does knock down allies, hence the Lord General going over then and actually dies. Well done, fellas. This is a creeping barrage for the Lord General. Knocking stuff all over the gaff. Sorcerer is almost level 4. Neurothrope on the way for Sko now. Peluco almost tier 3. Curse Crab starts tier 3 and does have the red. To get some assault terminators on the field. Grenade is not dodged, but they're tough. They can get up and they are going to get their power back. Maybe. Perhaps. Leave it for the tactical marines to cap. No, they're running away. Not super interested in getting more power going. Sko, quite rightly, not getting Khan effectors up because he's against four plague marines and potentially two missile launchers from the tactical marines. Raptors have their aspiring champion. There he is. He gets a fancy blood maul type thing. Demon maul. I'm not sure what they call it. Who looks at the tooltips when you play? CSM with Marco Zinch. Level 3. They've done some They've done some shooting. Yeah, but they run away. Storm boys have their knob leader. He's got a heavy melee. Huge chopper. And he knows how to chop with it. And those Raptors almost died. Their aspiring champion died. That's for sure. What is this? CSM dying. Those are Source Breros. Neurothrope did some work there. You can't level up though, the poor fella. And double zone throats as well. It's a lot of anti infantry ranged just from those three units. Scout's trying to get a cap hit. There's that the Galaxy Burn. Flash kits with their blasters. These guys can be nasty if you let them get under out of control, but they do have raptors to jump them, and a chaos lord, of course, and get stuck in, and disrupt them with let the galaxy burn and stuff. So maybe they'll be kept under control. We'll see. Meanwhile, Sko is heading mid. The scouts did get the VP. Well done, fellas. Can you live though? They're gonna live, I think. Here's all those plague marines. Heretics getting stuck in. There's a paroxysm from the neurothrope. I believe paroxysm means the the sudden onset of symptoms or something like that. It's a medical term. Rox is dodged by the plague marines. 
completely wasted. I think some of the missiles hit the commando there and he goes down. And they have to retreat through the rocks, but they should be okay. Blue team really struggling to get back onto this west side. 253 to 420. Red team with a commanding lead here. First crab must be saving for Terminators. They haven't got anything else up. Have to reinforce some tacks though. And the force one is down again. Level 2. Does, yeah, does have the teleporter up. He did get it up. East side. Raptors be capping for some corn worship. And a power harass. Storm boys might have a word though about this. Sluggers did not get their knob leader yet. Or if they did, he died. Jumping in. Chaos Lord not helping out with kill the weak or anything. Plague Marines do explode on death though, so you are punished for engaging them in melee even if you win. Uh oh. Imperial Abyss from Gaius Baltar. Shooter Boy is retreating through it and they die. And Sluggers die. And Alex is at a rough engagement. But the Storm Boy is going to get away. The Knob Leader dies. I think they'll be okay. But uh, you can get a full bash here now and put a lot of pressure on this VP. The flash gets are still around. We've got a looted tank on the way. Look at Sko now with double G stealers. Oh, he cancelled the other one. Boom. Here's all those Plague Marines. And Red Team still have the west side. There's a Lehman Rust now for Piluco. Probably called it in. A brood nest from Sko for everything to reinforce. Because, you know, guardsmen often crawl out of this kind of thing covered in crap. Inquisition has nothing at all to say about it. 195 to 420. Some fire going on. That was immolate from the Chaos Lord. And that's that paroxysm. Raptors don't want to jump in that. It does damage per percentage base, damage per second and extra to heavy and super heavy because it's psychic. Psychic PvP damage. West side is sticking off. We do have double gene stealers. Maybe they weren't cancelled. Maybe that... Was that the third one that they cancelled? Maybe that was it. Plague Marines getting too close to... Jane Steelers using their... Crazy, crazy damage. These do not have... Rending Talons. Don't need heavy melee when there's no vehicles around. There's gonna be a vehicle though. Land Raider Redeemer it is for Curse Crab. Not Terminators. Okay. We'll give them a lot of staying power on the west side. I could see that... Being a good option. We'll see though, double gene stealers with rending talons and the hive tyrant getting in there, which could be nasty. This guy now has warp field and bonded exoskeleton, he's ready to rock. None of these war gears give an ability. Oh, invulnerability is an ability. So you can't use all of his energy to power the warp field. But you can hit the invulnerability. And then when that's gone, put your other shield up. This force one is not gonna have a good time. Back away. They are backing away. Here's all them Plague Marines. A great unclean one now. For have you seen my Source Brero? 189 to 396. Storm Boy is getting their VP back. And maybe Red Team could get on this one. Nope. Could have been a bit, bit more aggressive going after this, I think. Like send the odd Hormagorn after it or maybe. I don't Maybe they have. And I just didn't see it. Here's a Chaos Predator with the Mark of Corn for Gaius Baltar help take on that orky tank alongside the plague marines over there red team couldn't get a decap here's javier getting stuck into a whole bunch of plague marines they can now turn and shoot him they can now turn and shoot him there we go oh, a bit too far away are they 170 to 396 there's that land red redeemer acts as a mobile base for you and your allies you can set it as a retreat point you can reinforce off it it's also got a bunch of weaponry provides health regen as well Incredibly useful, as you might think, in a 3v3 match on a contested VP. Let's see what it can do here. Javier's getting stuck in. Might go down. The Land Raider. The Land Raiders are the only vehicles in the game. Well, only non-Walker vehicle that don't have a rear armor penalty. So you don't have to worry too much about the positioning of your Land Raider, although... If you want all the guns to fire like this, you got to face forward. Great unclean one getting stuck in now. Super unit for chaos. Passively damages nearby enemies. Let's have some nasty abilities too. 
Gene Steelers will do a lot of damage to it, but the Great and Clean One will also do a good job against the Gene Steelers like that with the Cloud of Flies. 153 to 388. Can the blue team get some momentum here? They forced off a lot of stuff. I think I think they can get the VP at least. And look at this. Chaos Lord of Gaius Baltar, Alex with that rough engagement a few minutes ago, hasn't fully recovered yet, and they're able to get this VP a few times. I don't think it was the scouts again. We've got Heretics bashing a node. CSM running away from level 3 Storm Boys. Where's the tank? Tank is here, getting repairs from Heretics, showing its rear armor. Could be a mistake, all those Storm Boys I don't think are going to follow through. Blue team getting the... Oh, trying to get the VP. Tactical Marines having to run away. Just back to the land raider though, as you can see. You do have to activate it as your retreat point as an ally. We'll see if Source Brero has. Down goes a Brood Nest. There's a Paroxysm, paroxysm which is really bad news for a great unclean one does so much damage per second because it's high health pool direct hit from that plague marine miss up don't think you're going to do this have yet oh he does have a vulnerability there it is going to get a decap at least can they get the cap they cannot the silk squad jumping in there trying to get the zone throats off the field Ogrin's there though to counter initiate, but these guys can just retreat back to the Land Raider. Great Unclean One now waddling in. Gets a foul snare. It's pretty foul. It's like intestines or something. Kills that guy. Was that the Commissar retinue member? Maybe. Or it might have been. Yeah, it must have been. If it was the Commissar for the guards when he wouldn't have died. He's a die last hero. Gene still is getting dealt with here by the Land Raider pretty readily. They have to find another angle to get in there. Not going to be easy. Force Commander is going to revive. I don't think it's going to level him. No. Carnifex on the way for Sko. But there's four Plague Marines here to shoot at it. There's a multi melter on top of this thing. There's potentially a bunch of anti-vehicle from Curse Crab as well. We do have Devastators here. They could get a Laz Cannon. These guys could get a Melter Bomb. And the Tax could get a Missile Launcher. I guess one of the Tax he had went down, eh? I missed that. Because of course I did. What's going on over here? Stuff dying. we got Melter Gun Raptors. Help take out the tank and stuff. They get a Melter Bomb as well. And Melter Guns. Hence what I call them. Gene Stillers now have the Rending Claws. But, uh, is there only one of them now? I don't know. Uh oh, that's a rocks on the tank. I always say it's worth it if your noob takes out a tank. But in that case, it did not. It might help take out some Raptors, though. I think they're going to get away. There's that the Galaxy Burn. Well timed on the Gene Stealers. Saved those CSM, I think. So, Sko has uh, big decisions to make here because obviously they don't have the west side but they're also being pressured a hell of a lot on the natural might have to split their army which is not easy Javier is trying to get the VP done gonna do it there's the invulnerability got the Nurgle vomit knocking him off the cap there more plague marines for Source Brero the Sorcerer of Nurgle Great and clean one in the paroxysm, losing so much health. I think it's going to be okay. Here's a Bane Blade now for Piloco. The Carn Effects is back in what? No upgrade yet. 153 to 277. Two shots, says Alex. Oh, they're, they're talking about a tank? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, they must have been talking about the looted tank. There it is. It was followed into base by Raptors, maybe? There's a Toronto formation. Fun effect is in a little bit of trouble here. Where are all the Plague Marines? They be running. But here's another one. They're all retreating back to the Land Raider. 
They need to deal with that thing. It's going to be so tough, though, supported by so much things. Force Commander's still down. Gone down a lot in this game. He's level 3, though. Heavy turret. That's going to help. Dropped in by Piluco. Level 2 Predator. Look at the damage there. Somehow, that was a rear armor hit. I'm not sure how that happened. Rear armor hit's going to be weird. Tank is going to be okay, I think. Ogrin's coming in. They'll take a lot of damage from the CSM, but they don't want to get too close to him. There's Use Your Red. When you're having to run away, where is Raptors doing as well? Taking shots from double flash kits now from Alex. The tank lives. Oh, but not if it stays still. In this situation, you literally just want to order your tank back to your base. Don't try to give it too many orders. Don't have it make a bunch of decisions. Just let it go. Got it there. Bane Bay took a lot of damage from those Plague Marines. Creeping Barrage to disrupt it. Carnifex getting in on the Land Raider. It's a Thornback. So specialized for melee with a charge and extra hit points. And spawn Rippers as well. Bunch of Plague Marines coming for your Bane Blade. That's the Demolisher. Boom. I think it's going to be okay. We have a nice juicy blob of Marines for the Zone Throw to shoot out here trying to cap. Javier's not pleased. Goes for the cap themselves and Flash gets to the flank. We're retreating back to the Land Raider. Here's a nuke from Source Brero. Takes down the Carnifex. It's nicely done. Spotted the opportunity there and that is well worth it I think. A nuke for a Carnifex. Double cap for the red team though. Blue team taking a natural bet. Yes they are. They can't lose sight of the contested. So Spiro knowing that it can be very very aggressive with their Plague Marines because of the land raider here. To retreat back to. 78 to 254. The Hive Tyrant level 6 this guy. Ogrin is level 3. They've done well. And look at the Lord General with his full retinue, the Commissar, the Medical Sergeant, and there's the Vox Operator right there, can call in reinforcements. It's pretty useful, you pay requisition and I think red or something for it. Can be a little bit buggy though. There's the Foul Snare, Blue Team back on the VP, Javier getting stuck in, health is low. Don't think it's going to last too long. There's an orbital now from Curse Crab. Javier's gonna die. And be flung who knows where. The great unclean one actually got in there and got the attack. Big old orbital exposure is a pretty good orbital. Killed a decent amount of stuff. And blue team get that VP 56 to 251. Can they hold on here? Sko now needs to recover. He's got a Lictor on the way. Alex, Herald of Fools, just lost something. Not sure what that was. And we have Assault Terminators for Curse Crab. The Land Raider Edema has really been a massive game changer here. I mean, a Land Raider supporting five Plague Marines. It's not easy to deal with when you have a bunch of, of other stuff to deal with. Can't really suppress them. They still fire at the same rate. And move decently well for Plague Marines. Assault Terminators scaring off the Gene Stealers there. Gene Stealers actually do really well against Terminators, but those guys were kind of low health. Not so well if they have Lightning Claws, of course. But Blue Team looking pretty, pretty powerful now. I think they're going to get the Bane Blade. That was a rear armor hit and down it goes. Now they have Assault Terminators to deal with. They really need to focus mid, I think. They need to try and pull the units around. They need to try and get those Plague Marines away from the Land Raider. These guys, level 3, level 3, level 3. How are you going to kill all that? How? Level 10, Chaos Lord. Lightning Claws. Demonic Visage now as well. Nero Throat barely gets away there. Assault Terminator is going after Javier. They take him down. 56 to 211. Down goes a Zone Throat as well. Red Team are reeling. That GG right there. Oh, the sorcerer's down. They're gonna come and revive him. Level 4 Force Commander. And of course, that level 10 Chaos Lord. 
guy's scary as hell. And I was Zothrope, nope, Sko cancels it, not sure. It's a Carnifex. I'm not sure what, what they're going to do with that though. Can't really... I mean a Barb Strangler's never a bad choice, but again, suppressing Plague Marines doesn't really annoy them that much. Can suppress everything else and do good damage still. It's so hard. There's no one thing you could get to deal with this. You're kind of relying on, your, relying on your teammates to fill your gaps. Gene Slizzard have found some Raptors. Have that passive heal on hit these days, of course. Can be improved when they use adrenal Adrenal Rush. Heretics in there, tank doing some good damage. And they don't get away. Battle wagon now for Alex, but red team really are reeling. Not sure if they can get, get the contested back. I think they have to go all in on a natural hope they can pull some of this stuff away, maybe drop a good nuke or something. It's gonna be tough. Chaos Lord just hanging out. Force Monarch getting stuck in with his teleporting and his power melee. We've lost the uh, the teleporter indicator, which is weird. Usually you lose all of the indicators, not just one of them. Javier's going to take him down. Right, son. Down he goes. Level 6 high of time gets another kill. Subjugated Ogrins. Is that the Robes of Torment? It is. There it is. Chains of Torment. And he doesn't need to channel it as well. He can just cast it and run away. 56-142. Another Imperial Abyss. We've seen a couple of nasty ones. And this is another rough one for Alex to deal with. Ouch. Is it a Barb Strangler? It is a Barb Strangler. Just desperation from the red team, but this this is a hell of a thing to try and push against. The great unclean one there as well. Another Bane Blade for Piloco. What do you do here? Like, just mass anti-infantry. So you still need to take the Land Raider out. A bit more maneuverability maybe, trying to get the Land Raider from the back and the side. Try and catch it out, just go all in, drop a nuke on it and hope. Then you can start clawing your way back, assuming Cursed Crab can't just replace it. Which they might be able to do at that time. It's a big old zap gun shot. There's the paroxysm, but this guy can just these guys can just retreat back to the land raider. Two to one cap continues to tick down. Kind of running out of ideas over here. We got some havocs getting a Marco Zinch. And uh, Gaius could be pushing on that natural VP here. I think they should send something. Maybe the Chaos Lord. Pretty good brawler. To say the least, at level 10 with this loadout. Should be able to fight off anything that tries to stop him within reason. Are they all level 4 yet? Not all of them. There's a whole bunch of Plague Marines though. 56 to 75 on the VPs. Even Flash Gits, look at that. How many volleys to deal with level 4 Plague Marines? That's like 4 or 5 by now and not one model has died. Raptors jumping in. Where's the Melter? There's the Melter. Now they're shooting at Flash Gits though, there we go. And they Melter from the Assault Squad now. Yeah, it's going to go down. Last Cannon's getting shots in. Down it goes. 56 to 53. Blue team are powerhouses right now. Great and key ones getting stuck in. Is it going to be warped out? I guess not. Just gets another one. It's faster than trying to heal it up, I guess. Is that a rocks? It is a rocks. Oh, some good hits on his attacks. I think it wiped him out. It did wipe him out. They need to use the nukes on the land raider though, really. 
a little bit more coordination. I mean, it, it's still tough though. They didn't really have that much. Sko and Alex got hit pretty hard a couple of times. If they all got that, all got their stuff together and pushed with a nuke, they might have been able to take the land runner down. But even then, they would probably lose a lot doing it. The nuke there from Sorcerero. Yet another Imperial Abyss, and they're all in pretty nasty. Javier doesn't want to dally in there. Plague Marines got wiped out, I think. Yep. Down to just four Plague Marines then. Bane Bread getting owned. Still alive. There's the Demolisher. Knocks those guys away. Is this a repair bunker? I suppose it is. Nothing else is repairing it. Piloco doesn't actually have any repair units. Actually, nobody does on a red team. So all the bunker. What's this fighter doing? Oh, Warps is great on clean one to the front line. 32 to 39 on the VPs now. We've got some Orcs going for the VP. And there's a Lictor as well from Sko. A Shrine to Corn. Gonna spawn blood letters periodically. Also gives you a little damage bonus to your units. Down goes the Lictor. The tank shot that got it done. And the Orcs. Oh, Commander Knob's still here. I don't think it's going to get it done, though. Did get a decap. 32 to 30. Stun Bomb goes in. And Rockets now. Can they finish off this tank? That was right in me crosshairs there. Let's see how much damage that did. That was mental. Back to the west side. Which my frame rate does not like because of all this terrain scarring, which Dawn of War 2 does not handle very well. You go from hundreds of frames per second to like 30 when there's a bunch of terrain scarring like this. And much lower than 30 as well. Paroxysm on a very clean one. Are they going to take it down? It's doing its job, it's getting in their face and drawing fire. Here is Javier trying to get the cap. They got a decap. We've lost the indicator, so I can't see his health. You can see it on the roster there. Barely gets away, maybe. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Great and one, I think, is going to fall. We have Lightning Claw Terminators now. Tearing through the Neuro Throat. Blue team are not capping, though. Look at all the green crap here from the Plague Marines. Who's going to clean this up? Great and one explodes, doing damage to enemies. And healing allies. I don't think any allies were close enough though. A rocket run at the end. Crazy ending. Crazy ending. Red team fought to the last, that's for sure. And they're still in it. They are still in it. Blue team are not taking that west side. Parox is in doing a bunch more damage again. There's an yet another abyss. What is that? Like six of them or something? It's a lot of abysses. Force now has a power fish just standing back and viewing the action. Is this the same Bane Blade? I think it is. Got repaired up, I suppose. Now taking a bunch more shots from Plague Marines. Blue team didn't quite cap it. I don't think they quite capped it. That was um, without number spawning some Tyranids in there, I think. Orbital for these guys. Not even bothering to retreat, just trying to tough it out. And that guy did. Bane Blade also survives. That's a cataclysm from the Nero throat, knocking him off the cap. And another paroxysm. CSM are gonna try and tough it out, are they? Level four, they're taking a lot of damage though. Have to back away. Source Brero is gonna try and cap it. Level nine sorcerer. Bane Blade goes down. 32 to 11 still and there's the 2 to 1 and that could be GG right there red team really put up a hell of a fight hell of a fight on this west side Ogrins get subjugated probably not that hard to subjugate them to be honest just offer them like a burrito or something oh there that's it 2 to 1 cap gets it done we had a level 7 force commander was down a hell of a lot and a level 9 sorcerer from whoever this person is. Will we ever know if this was Z-Talk? Maybe not. Guys, Boltars, Chaos Lord, level 10. 
Level 6 Commando did some sneaking and some shooting of rockets. Level 8 Hive Tyrant threw everything in there at the end, Sko. And Paluko with a level 10 Lord General. And there you have it, a crazy 3v3. Fantastic team game. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.